Hi, and welcome to Oromia Media Network's weekly English news. With this week's summary, I am Aisha Ali. Dr. Mara Guddina, chairman of Ethiopia's opposition political party, the Oromo Federalist Congress, was detained by the Ethiopian government upon arrival from his trip to Europe. Dr. Guddina was invited by the European Parliament to inform the members of Parliament about the current situation in the country. According to reports on the ground, the Ethiopian government arrested Dr. Guddina because he had breached a two-month-long state of emergency. However, Dr. Guddina's court appearance stated otherwise and was charged for accounts of terrorism, similar charges to several of his Oromo Federalist Congress team members such as Vice Chairman Bakala Garba and many others. It has also been reported that Dr. Guddina was beaten and injured. He is now at Makilawi Prison, one of the notorious prisons known to torture Oromo and other political prisoners. In Central Oromia, North Oromia and South East Oromia, exploitation and human rights abuses by the Ethiopian military has increased. In Bale, over 300 people were detained and 80 people were transferred to Zuwai prison. In West Arsi, over 50 people who were attending a wedding were harassed and arrested. Multiple members from the bride and groom's families were amongst those arrested. In Eastern Oromia, Southwest Oromia and Western Oromia, Ethiopian military, also referred to as Agazi militants, are terrorizing residents. The Ethiopian military have imprisoned teachers and local government representatives. In some areas, over 70 youth who were arrested were sent to Adele military training camp. In Southwest Oromia, Jimma, the county of Limusaka, Oromo youth who were imprisoned were given contaminated food. Family members were restricted from bringing food for the inmates. The youth have been prohibited from receiving necessary medical attention. Also in eastern Oromia, in the city of Groa, local prisons have purposefully not provided food for inmates and 26 Oromo youth are now starving from lack of adequate nutrition. At the universities of Rift Valley, Jigjiga and Gondor, Oromo students have been targeted and expelled from various university programs. These students were informed that they had been organising protests which had led to their expulsion. On December 6th, the US State Department released a statement warning US citizens to avoid travelling to Ethiopia due to risks of anti-government protests. These warnings replaced the travel warning released on October 21st, 2016. UNESCO has recognized the ancient Gadar system, that is a democratic system practiced by the Oromo nation. The Gadar system classifies the Oromo society according to age. During each age classification, certain skills are taught in order to gain experience and prepare for leadership of the Oromo society. UNESCO has acknowledged that the Gadar system is one of the foundations of international democracy. That's all we have for this week's news. We hope to see you next week. Thank you.